now we are going to see how to reevaluate an assignment if we have done done some mistakes in the assignments first i have created an assignment and i have created three questions here uh, i have uh, first question alphabet is a parent company of i have selected uh, google as the answer here and this for second question i have selected pepsico indio and for third question i have given as a multiple select question and have i have selected second and third one as the correct answer in the back end now we are going to submit the assignment from student point of view going to the assignment i have selected first one as yahoo This is the wrong answer and I have selected uh, uh, only the uh, first one as the second answer and for the third one I have selected PepsiCo India. India. Check the answer. I have only one correct answer so I have got two out of six and since I have given uh, six points to the assignment for each question I have given two points here. You can check the answer here. Two by six and I have submitted the answer with one correct answer. Then I am going to submit the assignment from two more IDs with various answers. Here I have given all the correct answers. Where I am giving check answer button, I am getting 6 out of 6 since I have given all the correct answer and I have submitted the answer. Then from reviewer ID, I am going to submit the assignment. Here I am getting 4 by 6. From 3 IDs, I have submitted the answers. And now I want to change the answer or a question in the back end. Since I have found that I have done some mistakes in the assignments. Uh, first for re-evaluation uh, what, uh, what are all the things we can change in the back end we can see that first if it is a multiple multiple sele uh, if it is a MCQ question multiple choice question you can make it as a multiple select questions after this you can re-evaluate the assignment but if we are selecting a multiple select question it will be assigning one marks to half of marks to two answers you can see that I have selected two correct answers so it is splitting the marks as 0 0.5 0 0.5 so you can make the multiple uh, uh, MSQ question into a MCQ question but you can't make MCQ question as an MSQ question since it is splitting the marks into half half if a student selecting one answer will be getting reduced mark when he when we re-evaluate the assignment so don't make mcq question into an msq question before re-evaluation then you can change the answer add the answers anything you can done before this you can delete the choice too or you can add one more choice anything you can done do uh, anything you can done in the back end and once you save the changes, go to the admin dashboard, go to reevaluate tab, then select objective assessment. And in the drop down, you can see the list of objective assessment you have created in the course. And you just click the assignment whichever you want to reevaluate and submit. It will be asking for rescore, reevaluate, and you, uh, marks will be updated for reevaluation once you have done the changes accordingly. We can see that too. I have changed the marks in the back end. Now I can check my scores.
previously uh, from this Lakshmi idea I have given all the correct answer and have, I have got 6 out of 6 now it has been 4 by 6 since I have changed the answers in the correct answers in the back end I am getting only 2 0 so after re-evaluation it will accept the changes whatever you have done in the dashboard and it will reallocate the marks to the students this is in the case of MCQ and MSQ assignment. If you want to change the short answer assignment, I just show you the example. If it is a short answer type question, I have given uh, given the uh, I have uh, given the question as capital of India, and I have uh, set the response as New Delhi with space in the middle in the back end. I have and I have opened the assignment. Students who are submitting the answer with uh, without space, they are giving continuously uh, without space as New Delhi. They will be getting the wrong answer. Uh, they are all submitting the assignment and they are, they have got less mark for this question alone and they ha they will be asking you in the forum I have given the correct answer uh, but I am not give, getting the marks in the progress tab then you you just want to uh, confirm with your answer in the back end and you will be seeing that you have given space since it is a short answer it will be taking the answer as it is whatever you have been set in the back end if you are giving space then it will be accepting the answer, uh, correct answer only if the students entered with the same space in the middle so you in in order to uh, give marks to the students you have to add another answer give the score as one in the response you can give new delhi without space then re-evaluate the assignment like the same process we have done for the previous one uh, save it previous one uh, then the students who were submit the answers with space and without space will be getting marks after re-evaluation so if you have done any mistakes like uh, any spelling error in the answers or uh, any options can be selected by you by mistakenly uh, you have selected the wrong answer in the back end. You can change the answer after the assignment and you can reevaluate the assignment and give, uh, give scores to students. This is the process of reevaluation. Uh, one thing in reevaluation is we cannot delete the question which we have created in the assignment. If we have three questions, uh, af uh, after that you don't want to give this third question. You just want only two questions in the assignment. Assignment deadline has been closed already you want to remove one question uh, then uh, it won't be work out for re-evaluation so don't scrap the questions once it is created you can just change the answers in the back end and play around with it and re-evaluate the assignment there won't be any problem but don't scrap any question from the assignment which is closed